Hi guys, my name is Nathan Adam and I'm going to be your professor this semester in class and I'm so excited to be teaching you, so excited to be working with you even though we're in the middle of one of the most unusual semesters uh, that have ever happened and I think any of our lifetimes. So we're going to have a great time, we're going to learn a lot and we're going to help you reach your goals. Uh, real quick, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of who I am, a little bit of the background that I'm bringing to this class and some of the different areas of the uh, entertainment and music industry that I've worked in over the last 20 years as well as craft a story about how relationships mean all the difference. They make all the difference in any sort of uh, endeavor that you're going to take. So even if we're online or even if we're spending a lot of time on Zoom, I want to encourage you that the relationships you're going to make in the groups in this class, uh, in the groups in your other classes, if you make that effort, can be all the difference in the world to the future of your career. So, real quick, let's just go ahead and take a little peek over there. Um, like I say, my name is Nathan Adam, Nathan E. Adam. If you want to know any more about me, you can find out more at NathanEAdam.com. One of the things uh, you'll see there is a picture of a recent TED Talk I got to give a little while back on virtual reality and the democratization of experience. You can check that out on YouTube and, uh, and get a quick look there. Uh, this is my beautiful family, Dr. Jamie Adam, also a Belmont professor over in the nursing department, and our children. Arana, Symphony, and Liliana, as well as a few pictures of, in the pre-COVID era, um, hundreds of students that have been able to come to our studio and hang out right here, and hopefully you'll get that opportunity someday soon when the world returns to a semblance of normalcy. But my story starts 20 years ago, almost exactly, when I was a young singer-songwriter creating and crafting my own music and making some really poor hair and clothing choices uh, in college. I don't know if any of you can resonate with that. Maybe you have had an experience like that as well. Um, but I was involved in the same sort of things you guys are in. I was playing in bands. I was learning how to craft and create and record and capture my own music, my own ideas. And in that process, I discovered a love for business and technology that I have been working for the following 20 years to be able to integrate into my life and create new opportunities from for me and for the students I get to work with. So um, the first place that led me post finishing my master's degree in business was Sweetwater. If any of you have ever worked with Sweetwater before or bought any recording gear, you know how great the reputation is for customer service. But even more so, the relationships I built there have carried forward for two decades. Um, many people who I still work with on a regular basis, Sweetwater ultimately has carried a number of products that I've created over the years um, and I've had the opportunity to send so many students who graduate and they want to work in a, a stable industry for a great company um, and they want to be around gear all day uh, for my real techies out there um, who have a penchant for talking to people Sweetwater uh, is just a fantastic place to work so started my career there in 2000 2001 and then we moved on ultimately getting into uh, teaching. I discovered one thing at that first job, and that was that my passion was teaching. It was the communicating these ideas to people over the phone and helping them figure out what the technology was that was going to help them achieve their dreams. Um, in the meantime, uh, that also led me to making a, a bigger network, just like I'm going to encourage you to do in this class, to making a bigger network uh, with people around me. And one of my clients there ultimately was a professor just down the road at MTSU in their recording industry program. I didn't even know that this could be a, a career path, teaching audio engineering and production and cinema and video. Uh, and so the fact that it has been has just blown my mind. So I taught at MTSU all through the 2000s, um, teaching their uh, Pro Tools and production and studio classes and ultimately even serving as the associate chair of that program for a while. Fantastic program, lots of great people. While I was there, I got to uh, go through and actually write several books on recording and mixing, Pro Tools 9, the Mixers Toolkit, as well as uh, the book Multi-Platinum Pro Tools, which was the first book on how to use advanced uh, vocal tuning and production and micro editing techniques. Also had the opportunity to work with other producers and production companies in town, uh, producing series like Learn and Master Guitar, there's a fantastic series to produce for legacy learning systems. Uh, and that series that we shot in my living room, ultimately they went on to sell $30 million worth of this series. So I only point that out to, so that you know that you can create things now of incredible value because the internet it has enabled you to reach a global audience. So it's definitely something that I'm gonna continue to bring up over and over in whatever class that you're in with me this semester, whether we're creating the content itself or whether we're exploring 
exploring the media and the entertainment industry around us. Ultimately, those books and uh, creating those books led to the creation of a company, multiplatinum.com. Uh, don't ask me how I got the website multiplatinum.com, but it was the early days of the internet in the mid 2000s, and I guess nobody had thought to grab that just yet. But over the next bunch of years, we have produced uh, dozens of courses on recording and mixing and producing and mastering, all sorts of things related to audio and video production. In addition, like I talked about, those relationships come back into play as I worked with um, Sweetwater to be able to carry all of these different products uh, because they were a product that at the time didn't exist for their audience and their customers. So being able to continue to work with and make mutually beneficial things out of relationships that you start even right now in college or just post-college is so critical. So we're going to talk about that routinely. But yeah, in 2007, got to buy a great music venue on the square in Murfreesboro. Uh, it appeared on the episode one of NBC's The Voice, has hosted hundreds of shows and concerts and live recording sessions, weddings and corporate. It's, it's been an amazing thing to have for uh, the last 13 years. But one of the dreams I had uh, with it for so long was in the main event space to projection map the entire environment. And so we went through and I spent some time using an array of projectors and a beefy computer and software uh, to be able to go through and create any environment you want so that uh, people can create their dream events. So it's been amazing to see what people have done uh, with those over time. Along the way in 2009, a former student of mine, Nate Hurtweck, this amazing guy right here, uh, had moved on from uh, after he graduated and worked in LA for a number of years in the studio system, he'd gone to work for the Grammys. And so in working for the Grammys, he called me one day and said, hey, Nathan, I'm taking over this project called Grammy Camp. And we take all these students from around the country, just amazing students in audio engineering and video production and performance and songwriting and vocals and and we bring them all into one place for a week in Southern California and we just crank out great hits and I've had the opportunity since 2009 to do around a hundred Grammy camps from week long to weekend camps and it feels like every city in this country and so working with the Grammys has enabled me to work with an amazing array of students many of whom have gone on to be great Belmont students like Shelby Blaylock here um, and others uh, or other students in other programs around the country it's been amazing to watch for 11 years to watch you guys flourish into these careers as hit songwriters and performers and producers um, it's been one of the most incredible aspects of, uh, of this job. Then, in 2009, I found myself in Branson, Missouri. For those of you that don't know, it's an amazing uh, vacation and tourist town in uh, southwest Missouri where I got the opportunity to work as the post producer for 141 episodes of Presley's Country Jubilee, a live country music TV show um, that was recorded and performed and we got to do over, I did six seasons with them doing all of the audio and video editing and post production uh, for this show that aired on the RFD network. Uh, in 11 countries and to an audience of about a half a million people every week. It was so much fun to be able to explore and move outside of just a lot of the music production space and into music and live uh, video production as well. It was a lot of fun to be able to explore that space. Now, just to get a little bit bizarre uh, along the way, I had a women's clothing line. Uh, one of the key things you'll see me hammer on in these classes is that once you've learned a skill, like whether that's content creation or advertising or marketing to an audience or selling something online, once you've uh, uh, created that skill, you can now apply that skill in a variety of areas. So being able to sell courses and DVDs and other products online, ultimately I found other relationships that I had had uh, that were looking to put things online and some friends of mine had an amazing clothing line and so together we took that online and had that for uh, a number of years. Along the way, uh, I found myself discovering the next phase in technology. Back in 2014, uh, we started to see the next generation of virtual reality finally starting to uh, become a thing as Facebook started investing billions of dollars and, uh, and the smartphone market had enabled the technology to advance. And so in uh, late 2017, I had the opportunity to start working with TEDx Nashville, uh, giving a TED talk on virtual reality and the democratization of experience and how how VR is going to become one of the primary ways uh, that we interact, kind of the, the future of the telephone, if you would. But we're going to be talking about those in class. And finally, uh, just the last thing that people seem to find interesting for some reason, uh, I don't know what to tell you, except that uh, I have a boom, two second cameo in a Justin Bieber music video.
If you have questions, I'm happy to answer them, but I'm really looking forward to working with you. So if you have questions, drop me an email or reach out and touch base. Otherwise, we will be looking forward to seeing you in class.